Hey, Chameleon.com here. Today you have come to the best video ever made for USB Type-C cables and to make sure that you get the best kinds for the best price. That's why you're here. That's what we're going to delve into right now. We even have a top 10 list pulled up for the best brands and kinds and what I personally chose and what my phone is actually charging off right now for this video. Before I go any further, as always, we're going to have links in the description below to ensure that you get the best price on your Type-C cable or whatever phone cable or accessory you're buying. Be sure to check us out over at chameleon.com because not only do we have Type-C cables, but we have Type-Cs of other things. So check us out today. We have basically every product known to man, everything from phone stuff to clothing. Check us out in the links in the description. It helps support the channel. Let's get straight into this. Besides me talking, and I'm going to give you some anecdotal information on these. I've This is the second pack of these I've bought, and I actually had the listing pulled up for what they're called and what they are. Okay, but I'm going to give you my impressions on why I bought this over every other cable. Um, and what the people are saying is the best cable at the time of this recording on Amazon. So I just typed in type, here we go, here's the search. The, the search is in the description, but for type C cables, you'll find that really the uh, generic, for lack of a better term, or unbranded, are actually taking the cake. Because at the time of this recording, these two, not the ones I bought, but 4,325 customer reviews at four and a half stars. And this one's are at 3,000 at four and a half stars. So a lot of people are actually, as far as sales are concerned, are buying these ones that seem to have um, not necessarily the branding. They just want to have the most affordable Type-C cables without paying for the expensive branding on the cable. But one that is seem that is a brand name that actually came up on this top 10 list is the JSOX USB Type-C cable. So, and this was number four. And this is coming up on the first page of uh, the Type-C search, which will be in the link in the description below. So that's impressive at 10,000 reviews. Um... Try to see if there's any other ones that are coming to mind from that list. It seems that J Socks, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, J Socks. If I were to buy again, I wouldn't mind buying those. I'll tell you why I bought these, though. Enough uh, going down the list. The reason I bought this three pack is because they actually were one of the very few three packs where it had a 6.6, a 3.3, a and a 1.5 foot cable all in one so you may not think you need all three different types of sizing but i gotta tell you the six foot's really nice for the camera behind the screen to stretch it out all the way from the outlet or if you're going to bed it's nice to have a six footer that you can kind of move around and not worrying have to yank not worrying that you're going to yank the cable and it's nice to have a short cord too because if you just want to plug in your phone off a laptop it's kind of a pain to plug it in, even with the six-footer. You have to coil it up, and you have to constantly do that and then uncoil it. It's kind of a pain. So to have a couple of different size cables, like a 3.3-foot for your car and a 6-foot for your uh, home charging station and then a 1.5 for your laptop is actually pretty conducive to a good workflow. I, might, I know I might sound weird just by buying a pack of cords, but believe me, when you're using the cord multiple times per day, uh, it, it tends to, uh, have its utility when you have different size cords. Now, this, of course, is just an unbranded one. I don't even think this, uh, it's by Elabase, who's ever heard of that name before. But if you, I did say I was going to run down this list, so I'm just going to give you the top 10, um, brands as far as some, this pretty reputable, uh, article. So Anchor's a good one. I noticed there were some pretty, um... Pretty good sales on that, too. 2,600 reviews, and uh, that is a branded type cable. The other ones are uh, Amazon Basics usually has some good stuff, not just in the uh, cord category. Anchor Thunderbolt is another Anchor brand. JSOX was a 10,000. That was coming up first page. So if I, if I, I were to ever buy cords again, I might stray toward that JSOX. Anchor, for the third time, Apple... Um, Apparently is also using Type C, which is great. Snow Kids 
at number seven. We got a Belkin. I've had Belkin before. Pretty good stuff. Google Pixel. I guess just the charger that comes with the Pixel is pretty awesome too, apparently. And then cable creation. So if I had to pick from this list, just from what I'm seeing on Amazon for reviews and what everyone else is saying, JSOX is coming up there. Even ones have, even ran a best value award on this uh, article. So pretty impressive. I would stray toward the JSOX. Let me read into this. What really makes an optimum US, USB Type-C cable? It's durability, stellar speed, and compatibility. On these counts, the JSOX USB Type-C cable cannot be found wanting the blah 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 any of that they tend to have a quick users what does it say the thing with cables these days blah 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 right so this is one thing i wanted to mention because i've been using these cords for quite some time and i wanted to open this pack because unfortunately i actually lost my 1.5 footer and um the beautiful thing is that whatever cord you choose i'm going to let you guys know if you're still watching this choose one with a metal head and branded and uh not branded braided cables as long as it's got an aluminum head and it's got some braided cables it usually indicates a good manufacturer you don't want any cables with plastic heads it's a very bad road i've had an s i've been using samsung since the s3 i believe and whenever i i would go on um ebay and buy these uh they're basically like cheapo, like you can really tell, like they're just plastic tipped. I actually bought a pair of these when I bought this S10, um, if you want to watch my S10 review as well. And uh, literally, the cords did not work out of the box. They were so terrible, I didn't even review them. These, however, have a nice aluminum head, and these have not broken. I've had this phone for, I believe, over three months now, maybe four months. I've had it for a while. And um, the cords stand the test of time. The only one that, uh, and I've yanked on them and a bunch of other stuff. So the only one I, that I've had a problem with is the one I lost. So I had to buy a new pack. But if I were to reorder these again, which I hope I never have to again, because uh, I hope they all don't get lost, is I would stick with um, ones with metal or aluminum heads. And uh, J socks with the 6.6 foot cord is a pretty good uh pretty good find you might not like the 6.6 they they are a little long you have to coil them up you have to coil them a bit which is why i like the the uh three packs with the three different sizes and there are a few companies that do do that um and the one i chose is one of the very few that actually had the uh I think 10 foots you might want to go with this one something like that like a 10 footer but you want to look for this where the uh the cord itself almost has like a little bit of a step on the USB. It's it's not going directly from the... Uh, it's got like a little aluminum step. It's a good sign of quality. Anyway, that's my two cents. Links will be in the description below for your USB Type-C cables. And on that note, Chameleon.com is out. Be sure to ring that bell, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And on that note, Chameleon.com is out. Peace.